Welcome back, Circuit fans. The bracket stage of the June 2018 1v1 tournament. Our main host, Dominic, and we are starting with a match between 400 and Unlucky on. What's it called? Gecko Wild. Gecko Wild, that's what it is. Have it right there. So, yeah, we are in the bracket stage. You can see the way it's set up is that it is kind of double elimination. Like, the, the top two get two chances, basically. But this is effectively the lower side quarterfinals. And we're starting with that. So, yeah, 400 versus Unlucky on Gecko Isle, a map which is very reclaim focused. I hope to see these players both reclaim a lot because this map is super reclaim focused. It's the entire, like, there's like 2,000 metal of reclaim on either side. It's amazing. Just take it. Please take it. It's so often I see people play this map and try to go over the static economy, and the static economy is okay, but we got 2,000 metal worth of reclaim on the table. Do not waste that. 400 going for the Cloaky Factory, while Unlucky looks like they're going for tanks. Interesting choice. It did work in the past. Unlucky not being sneaky, though. Not going for anything kind of weird. I mean, this map, it's not really set up for a lot of weird sneaky stuff. It's like, you don't really have that situation where you have a corner expansion or a corner start point that people are likely to take, and then you try to deal with that when people expect to be going cross corner. In this map, the rush distance, it's, it's shortest where people are right now, which is where people normally start in this map. So Unlucky, again, going for that early harassment, and 400, on the other hand, going for a little bit of early reclaim, getting that Conjurer up, making sure they get that reclaim early. This could actually work out for Unlucky reasonably well. If they get that con or they get the Conjurer destroyed, could actually go around the back and actually finding the Conjurer, taking it out, then it's quite possible they'll destroy most of 400's economy, because clearly 400 wants reclaim. They're going to go for a reclaim-focused economy, while Unlucky, on the other hand, they're getting... I mean, getting the... I think it's not a standard static economy. They haven't set up the reclaim yet. Hopefully, this welder will go and set up a bunch of reclaim. I don't know what the plan is. I'm not sure if Unlucky realizes that 400 is likely to go for mass reclaim. That is how you play this map. That is how 400 is playing this map. And that's something Unlucky could deal with. But I don't think they do. I don't think Unlucky is quite clued in that 400 is round the back, reclaiming up. And if they do clue in, then yeah, 400 is going to probably lose a lot because this conjurer is basically defenseless. But no, it's very, no, clearly Unlucky wants to get rid of the Metal Extractors. They're not at all going for the Conjurer possible reclaim. Oh, please, find it. No, they don't. The Conjurer is going to be completely cloaked. There's no real indication other than the fact that the reclaim has happened. That there is something going on here. And the Kodachi is not going around the back to actually deal with that, which means the Kodachi is not going to be able to deal with anything. Unlucky still falling behind, not actually building up anything. They have their welder up. They're building up some defenses, but not using much of this reclaim. If, not using any of the reclaim at all, while 400 is way ahead just because of the reclaim. They're a bit further behind when it comes to their static economy, which honestly surprises me somewhat, since I'm not sure where they're not getting their static economy from. I mean, it's the same number of metal extractors, but okay. Oh, I see. They just hadn't quite built up the last metal extractor. But that's fine. That's the thing. 400 is ahead because of Reclaim. And the Kodachis are doing an okay job getting rid of the Glaives. That's that's all well and good. But again, it's like right there. Right there. Reclaim everywhere. And 400 is taking all of it. Unlucky is taking none of it. And Unlucky is not even going for it. Going for the static economy. This is a very common lower level player mistake. I'm not surprised we're seeing this for the simple reason that, again, a lot of newer players, and Unlucky, I'm fairly certain, has only been playing for a couple months. They were doing quite well for that time, but still. Newer players have a tendency not to consider Reclaim. Especially when it's a map like Gecko Wild, where Reclaim forms such a huge part of the map. Because again, on the side of the map, safely, you can get like 2,000 metal Reclaim. 3,000 is that full circle, but that full circle is a bit more than just the safe parts. But that's the thing. You get 2,000 metal reclaim, and... Oh, the Kodachi barely misses the Conjurer! That's free! Another another set of rocks for free for this Conjurer. The Kodachi, I can't believe it's so unlucky for unlucky, did not manage to spot that. That would be the ability for 400 to actually lose out in the economy wars. Like, unlucky would be able to take the stack economy and be ahead. If that Conjurer right now had died, had it been spotted... Now, granted, there's still other Conjurers building up static economy and others that are reclaiming, so 400 is still getting a lot off reclaim... But this Kodachi could have ruined everything, or at least heavily crippled what 400 was up to. And it missed. Now, granted, Unlucky's not that far behind. They're not in a great spot, especially with the Glaze coming around the back. But they're not that far in the hole, really. I'm just not sure that they are ever going to go for it. I'm not sure that they actually realize these rocks are reclaimable. Like, that this map does have static reclaim. And that's a very important part of the map. And it's just I'm kind of surprised they don't notice because the Kodachi has been going around the back and seeing the rocks don't exist on, on 400 side. And that they existed at one point and don't now. And I, I think unless they actually manage to spot a Conjurer and see that it is reclaiming and destroy it, which they haven't done because this Kodachi has decided just to be idle, 
I guess they're just waiting for an expansion back here. I guess they're thinking, oh, well, Fortnite will eventually build the expansions around the back, and when they do, this could actually be ready. Fair, but I think unless they see the, con the Conjurer's actually reclaiming, they're not going to clue in that this is reclaim that you can grab. But, eh, <clears throat> that'll be interesting. So at any rate, oh, they're not finding it still. Oh, no, that's not the reclaim, though. The thing is that, that it has to be the rocks. I think that's the thing. So I don't, I don't think, yeah, they must not have clued in. Unlucky has enough welders around the map. They could have taken reclaim by now. I just don't think they've realized that they should and can, or not, not should, that they can. If they knew they could, they probably would. So give them that. But at any rate, they are doing a decent job harassing what 400 has built up. It's just, again, 400 has not built up all that much. They're relying entirely on Reclaim, or relying largely on Reclaim. We've got, like, well, between the Conjurers, they do have about five metal. Okay, I guess it's only one of them right now, but still. 400 has been built so much on Reclaim. We'll see, if we look at the Reclaim stats, we'll see that there's been, what, 1,200, 1,300 metal Reclaim for 400, and none for Unlucky. Most of, like, the metal production difference between the two players is entirely Reclaim. That's it. That's all the difference. The actual metal income has been dead even, apart from the reclaim. But the reclaim has been huge. So yeah, if 400 was able to get that going, then... Man, they'd be... I'm sorry, if Unlike was able to get that going, they'd be way ahead. If they clued in that reclaim was an important part of this map, they would probably end up getting a massive economic lead right now. Just for how close they are and how much that difference is entirely reclaim. And how much the static economy for our Unlucky is pretty strong, but right now... It almost doesn't matter. 400 has been leveraging that static economy for an army that allows them to defend... Sorry, the reclaim for an army that allows them to defend their static economy, which is entirely the way that it's supposed to go. That's entirely the reason why it's built up the way it is, is that you use the reclaim, the reclaim gets you the money, and that money goes for everything else that makes your static economy solid, which means that you can't really be harassed at that point. Now, Unlucky doesn't rely on harassment. Oh, they might see it. They're going to see it now. They're going to finally see it. Hopefully they clue in and realize, hey, I should maybe reclaim some things. Now that they realize these rocks are reclaimable, I want to see what they do. Please let me see their welders actually go around the map and start grabbing the rocks. Because if, they, if we see that, we'll know it's entirely a matter of knowledge. Because they have some idle welders as well. I mean, maybe they're focused on... It looks like they're focused on the front lines. I don't expect they're going to be directly immediately going to the back to that reclaim and grabbing all that stuff. I mean, again, newer player might be a little bit tunnel visioned. But I really hope that they see that reclaim is a thing you can do. And should do. And if they do that... That's going to be huge, because remember, these are 7.5 metal per second. That's 15 metal per second unlucky you can have if they start reclaiming. They don't have the actual income, or they don't have the spending power for that yet. But if they do, they'll be ahead of 400. Or at least on par with. 400 has mostly used up that reclaim, and there's, I mean, there are still threats for their expansion. I mean, this conjurer was destroyed by a Kodachi that was left back here in order to do exactly that. So, Unlucky's strategy is actually working out pretty well. The only thing they're missing is that economy. Well, partly the energy economy right now, and partly the fact that they haven't used the reclaim. If they got that, they would be doing extremely well right now. It's just the one small thing. Like, get a few more solar plants, get a couple caretakers here, and start getting that reclaim going. They will be so far ahead. Because like I said, right now, they are pretty even. Not, not the reclaim necessarily, but army value is not that far off. Metal used is getting further and further away. Metal income is dead even otherwise, though. Or very close to even. So, yeah, again, just... Static economy is so close, it's just a matter of getting that reclaim. But I don't think they're going for it. I think, they're, I think that they've not really clued in that that's a thing they should do. Now, right now, they shouldn't. Right now would be a bad idea, because they don't have the energy to make that work. They really need to build power plants, and I don't think they clued in on that. I, oh, they have, they have, never mind. Their commander's getting power plants up. So that's good. They need those, but... Yeah, they need those quite desperately. I feel like their commander... Like, they got to priority their commander up. They're doing fine. They are building the power plants as needed, but get the priority up and they'll be fine. They'll be even better. They'll be more fine. Thankfully for them, I think this is low... No, it's not low priority. They haven't used priority systems at all. That's... For those of you not familiar, that's this little button here. Construction priority. Set that up and it will make it so that, say, your commander builds before everyone else. So your factories often are low priority because that way they don't get in the way of other construction, your economy construction. That's an important part of making sure you've got everything efficiently set up. But anyway, Unlucky Static Economy is pretty strong, though. And they do have ogres. They do have... I don't know. They don't have ogres. Where are their ogres? I thought they had ogres. No, they had ogres up front. They got killed by the Ronin earlier on. That's right. They have the Blitzes. That will work reasonably well against the Glaives. The Minotaurs won't work so well, but ogres can be built up. The Welders are also not a bad anti-raider force. 
And there's the ogre. Or no, there's another minotaur. Not ogres. Oh, no. This factory's dead. This factory's totally... The glaives can't be stopped. This is it. The glaives are going to destroy the entire factory, and there's nothing that can be done about it. Or very little can be done about it. Some things are being done about it. Never mind the factory is dead. The caretaker's not. Welder's not either. And, again, more caretakers need building. Unlucky is having a really difficult time actually maintaining their economy right now. Like, they need build... Or not maintaining their economy. Maintaining their construction. Their, their production. They don't have the build power. They've got the economy. They don't have the build power. They do have some of the idle... Idle welders, though, like... I don't know. Bring this one around here. Build a couple of caretakers. Or get this one here to build... Okay, that's building caretakers. That's good. Just once you've done that and gotten your energy back up, start reclaiming. Please start reclaiming. Once you do that, you're going to be way ahead. Or at least on par. You're going to be able to catch up, get to 400. I mean, lay claim, reclaim, this is an interesting strategy. I don't think Unlucky was meaning to do this. But if they were, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, hold off, let your opponent burn all their reclaim, and then win by attrition, which so far, like, 2,000 metal by attrition. Unlucky has more than made up for the lack of reclaim through the attrition. Or just about. Most of the attrition difference, it's even out now thanks to these glaives, but still, Unlucky's done a really good job keeping themselves safe and keep making sure that that reclaim isn't as effective as it could be. And now within the late game, Unlucky's got nothing. I mean, they have a lot from what they'd used, but they only have 400 reclaim left. So everything now for them is static economy, whereas everything for Unlucky, they can still get a bunch of reclaim. If they get strong stat they get a strong static economy. They already have a decent amount of attrition. They t get that reclaim on top of that. Once their strong static economy really gets going, they could easily outpace 400, just for the simple reason that's later in the game, and 400 didn't manage to turn that reclaim into enough of an army that has won thus far. And Unlucky is doing a great job with their attrition. So yeah, this actually could be a situation where Unlucky ends up taking the reclaim late and that works out for them. Especially now that they've managed to take out all these glaives that are coming in here. You know, a few Kodachis here and there, not a bad idea. The only downside, of course, the Minotaurs are not supported. There's no Ogres. Why are there no... Oh, I know there's no Ogres. There wasn't the production for them. Because Unlucky, we saw before, Unlucky's great at knowing what units to use and having a good, strong range of units in an army. A good mixed force. That's something they've been very keen at doing. And we haven't seen that right now. We've seen a lot more Minotaur, like Mass Minotaur. Well, okay, three or three Minotaurs. But we don't see a lot of Ogres. Like Goliath is coming up, or like Cyclops rather, coming up, but not really all that useful. Kodachis will be useful, though. That will help get rid of the Glaives, and actually also help get rid of the Kodachi, sorry, the Ronin in the backyard. Not the backyard, in the back line right there. But of course, there's all this stuff going on in the back. Does Unlucky even know? They do! They have radar of this. I'm kind of surprised they're allowing all these Glaives to get around the back, but I guess at the same time, they don't have a lot of options. If Unlucky is able to fend off these Glaives, push the Force back, get the Reclaim going, they have the production capacity for it. They need a little bit more power, a few more power plants, but they get that set up and another caretaker in the main base, they could easily turn this around. This is still anyone's game. And Unlucky's attrition has been great. The only downside is that they might lose some of these Minotaurs. That's not going to put the attrition to 400's favor, but 400 still does have the economic advantage. Like, I keep talking about how it might work out for Unlucky if they do one thing. They haven't done that one thing yet, so it's still 400's game, really. They're just not losing as fast. But yeah, their army value, it's behind... But mostly because it's these few units that are being torn apart by Glaze. Kodachis are in place, but they aren't here enough. Cyclops moving back. It's trying. It's trying its best. Some Kodachi should be able to get in here and actually tear apart the rest of these Glaives. I don't know if that Cyclops is going to survive. It should, but I'm really not confident. However, the Glaives being on fire is good. That that definitely helps. There we go. There's the Kodachi save. Goliath is... So the Cyclops, rather, is still in a bit of a mess. The Minotaur is well, still having a bit of a hard time. But there we go. That's it. The Glaze pull back. Just get the repair going. Get one of those welders in here. Get a repair circle on these guys. Get that set up. And the Kodachi's as well able to tear everything else apart. Chasing off 400's forces. Including the backline Glaze. Nothing in the backline is still around. So this is when Unlucky, if they get a couple more power plants, could go around the back, reclaim everything, and push the economy around. Or turn the economy around. But even then, I don't really see it. 400 now at this point is entirely relying on overdrive. This one Moho Geoplant, or Advanced Geoplant, is putting them in such a position where it actually almost doesn't matter for the reclaim. The reclaim now is a matter of getting parity for Unlucky, not a matter of winning. With that crow up there, Unlucky does not have a whole lot of options to deal with this. At this point, it, I think it's too late. I think it might very well be too late. That Other than energy economy, everything is set up for a good set of reclaim. But with this crow here, I don't know how that's going to even work, because the crow is just tearing apart everything. I mean, it's down to two-thirds HP, but... Even then, it's managed to destroy this entire base, this frontline bastion that Unlucky had set up, which is no longer 
And on top of that, the Kodachis are also down. There's really not much going on in Lucky's favor. They could have reclaimed. If they had the power earlier, like five minutes ago, they had the power plant set up. If they had the caretaker set up, they could have gone for the reclaim and turned this around. But now it's too late. Now 400 has truly taken advantage of the reclaim, turned it into overdrive, turned it into great static economy, and turned it into a crow on top of another large army. Well, that was... That was interesting. But again, this is why it's important to be aware of the properties in the map in question. I don't I, I don't think Unlucky was aware of it at first. They've got to be aware of it now that they saw a, a conjurer do it. Or at least I think they did. I mean, they, they directed an army, a unit to do that. I don't know if they necessarily were looking at the unit at the time. If that That's something I hadn't actually considered until right now. They might not have been actually staring at that unit while it was fighting. But yeah, that's the thing. Unlucky, if you're watching this, this map allows for reclaim. And they're probably told in chat as well, this map allows for reclaim. And you really want to reclaim. And like I said, I can see a strategy that Unlucky could have done, which is let 400 burn out their reclaim, win by attrition, and or keep going by attrition. Keep the reclaim from doing anything to you and practice by attrition, and then reclaim your side at the 7 or 8 minute mark in order to really push. Like, so you're at the mid-game, everyone's counting out this even economic setup. Your opponent, yeah, they have a bit more money going into some units, but those are units that are cheap raider units. You can't easily hold on to them. But instead, you come in with your own reclaim, and your reclaim becomes stronger mid to late game units that are more likely to stick around for the entire game, and thus it's a lot more effective. I mean, it's risky because you're basically banking on later money that you could take now, but at the same time, it's also potentially very effective because your opponent doesn't have the ability to just suddenly get a stronger economy, which you are taking advantage of, when up to that point, your economies are roughly even. I mean, except for the two or 3,000 medal of reclaim your opponent's gotten, which if you've done your attrition well, they haven't taken advantage of. And at this point, like I said, Unlucky kind of stopped the advantage off the attrition. Like, the attrition difference is about the level of the reclaim. So 400's reclaim didn't do much. It's just that Crow was causing problems. Then the Crow is going down. It actually could be a problem. That Crow goes down, and the reclaim actually starts happening. If we see some reclaim happening, that might work. But no, the Crow's not going down. The Nats aren't dealing damage. Oh, the Cobra's in place. Or the Etten, rather. Etten's in place. But it looks like, it looks like we're seeing a towel. Unlucky looks like they are done. I mean, the Etten should be able to get rid of the Crow. And if the Crow's gone, there's actually not a whole lot threatening things. I mean, Unlucky is behind economically. But again, they have a bunch of reclaim they could use. But they're not going to. Like, I don't think they know. I still don't think they know. Which is a shame. Because if they knew, they would have been able to win this. I probably should have gotten Nogres, that's true. I did mention that earlier, but no, they should have gotten Reclaim. That's all it is. That's all it was. If they had gotten Reclaim, then they would have had this game. Unlucky could have easily won this game with the Reclaim in the mid-game because their attrition was so good. They were so efficient with the units they had, with the weaker economy they had, up to really now, that 400 didn't have the advantage off the Reclaim. But Unlucky had the Reclaim available to use themselves. I keep harping on that because Reclaim is so important. This map is built around Reclaim. And that's how 400 won this game. Reclaim into static economy, into production, into army, into a win. That's just a matter of unlucky. Are they going to throw in the towel or what? Because they really don't have much. And by much, I mean anything. They're getting, okay, they're getting, seriously, a plane plant? Right now? Like, 18 minutes into the game where their opponent has four times their economy and they've got nothing? Like, this isn't going to work for unlucky at all. They're, they're done. It's over. This this game is over, and I think this is best of one. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work. But, hey, I mean, like, like you said, they put up a good fight. It's just they put up a good fight playing two different games. Actually, wow, Unlucky is really not letting this go. There should be another crow on the field. Yeah, there is. It's back here getting his auto repair on. Doesn't want to go in the fight. I mean, I guess if we would see two crows come in to try to win the game. I don't know. That that seems like a silly option, but maybe. Again, I think if Unlucky loses their commander, they're probably going to throw in the towel. Like, really, that their commander's here building up the factory is their last ditch. And they don't have anything. The glaive's going to kill it. That is it. Unlucky. <gasps> what? Zero. Okay, there it is. There it is. Dying to the wind or the tile generator explosion. Not to the glaives, just the building explosion, but still enough. That is going to be game. So, well done to Unlucky for holding on as well as you did. 
Unfortunately, you didn't take the reclaim you could have taken. That would have won you the game, or at least would have put you on even footing, allowing you to win the game. If not outright winning the game. Oh yeah, people are complaining that I missed this crow stunned with gnats. No, I knew the crow was stunned with gnats. That's nice. There was nothing following it up. I fall. I looked. Oh hey, there's glaives killing the crow with gnats. It's like, but nothing is killing the crow. It's just stunned. It's like okay, that's all well and good, but unless there were, unless the Eden came in sooner and actually started taking out the crow, there's not much to say for that. Sorry about that, but yeah, it's kind of not a thing. Anyway, that is the quarterfinals, the lower bracket quarterfinals, and um, what? I okay, that was weird. Anyway, so anyway, we'll be back in a second with possibly other quarterfinals. I'm not sure. There should be another quarterfinals, like the upper bracket quarterfinals, effectively. That should be a thing. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. It looks like we have... QFA, FSC versus Raw. Okay, so the QF, the A quarterfinals will... Okay, that... FFC won that. Okay, so I'm not sure how this is supposed to go. I guess... Hopefully this gets updated? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Oh, I see. Okay. Hey. Well, anyway... Ah, there we go. This is the new bracket. Okay, so FFC and 400 are going to be playing the essentially losers finals, although well, semifinals, what it's called here. This, whatever, let's call it. I'll call it what it's called here, so you can see it. And we'll be back with that in a second. So stay tuned for the semifinals. <laughs> 